In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. In today's gospel, Jesus tells the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, challenging us to recognize and respond to those in need. We ask for God's grace to repent for the times we have not responded to others with mercy. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the word teaching us to respond to those in need. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the one risen speaking to us of new life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the prophet calling us to repentance. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, Woe to the complacent in Zion, lying upon beds of ivory, stretched comfortably on their couches. They eat lambs taken from the flock and calves from the stall. Impro improvising to the music of the harp, like David, they, dis they devise their own accompaniment. They drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the best oils, yet they are not made ill by the collapse of Joseph. Therefore, now they shall see, they shall be the first to go into exile, and their wanton revelry shall be done away with. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. But you, man of God, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you before God, who gives life to all things, and before Christ Jesus, who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for a noble confession, to keep the commandment without strain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the blessed and, and the only ruler will make manifest at the proper time, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, 
who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, and to whom no human being has seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessing, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to the Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten the fill of his scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the finger of his tongue in my water. For I am suffering in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. For he is now comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets, let them listen to them. He said, oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, Neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of my many blessings and challenges as a permanent deacon is to serve as the leader of our local Catholic Charities Agency. Many of you know that Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada serves anyone who needs help and hope. I like to remind folks that we don't check religious IDs at the door at Catholic Charities. We serve all of God's children in need. This year we are celebrating our 75th anniversary of service to some of God's most vulnerable children right here in Southern Nevada. We serve an average of 1,000 free and discounted meals every day to anyone who is hungry. Last night in our emergency shelter, over 500 homeless men spent the night and we provided them with a clean place to sleep, a shower, clean linens, safety and security. Our agency serves more than 2,000 Nevada seniors every day through our Meals on Wheels program. Some of you watching at home may be recipients of that program where we bring a quality meal and a visit from the driver or the case manager, and even free food for the pets, so that seniors don't have to make that terrible choice to share their food with their pets. Often that is their only companion. This gospel message resonates with me deeply since I interact with so many of the poorest and the voiceless among us. It is a stark reminder to me that despite my life's problems and my challenges, God has blessed me lavishly. My responsibility then is as the call from the gospel is to listen and to follow God by reaching out to those in greatest need. As the rich man asks Abraham for a messenger from the dead to send to his brothers as a sign to repent, 
Abraham reminded them that they have Moses and the prophets listen to them. We are also reminded in that same message, since we have the gift of sacred scripture, we also have Jesus Christ himself, who rose from the dead for our salvation. Do we choose to follow him, to care for our brothers and sisters in need, or do we turn a blind eye to those who are suffering? We are called to listen to Jesus and to repent, to be ministers of mercy in our broken world. Maybe that takes the form of stewardship, the sharing of our time and our talents and our treasures within an organization like Catholic Charities so that we can continue our transforming work. It can also be found in prayer, asking God for forgiveness for our sins and then forgiving and praying for those who are struggling the homeless, the hungry, those in prison, and those who are spiritually poor. We have the power to choose hope in life and self-surrender to God, and then to choose eternal life with him. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And through the intercession of St. Therese, Teresa of Calcutta, let us pray that we might see and respond to those in need. That all members of the church reach out to the Lazarus lying at their doorstep. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all peoples of the world come to the salvation that God offers us by responding to the needs of one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the poor, and the hungry have their needs filled through the generosity of those who hear and heed the word of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all gathered here die to self-absorption and rise with Christ to the newness of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, through the intercession of St. Teresa of Calcutta, you hear the cries of the poor. May your son's life and example teach us to respond with compassion and generosity to those around us in need. We ask this through that same son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Let Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, the laity, and all who serve you in this world. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Let's be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter under my roof, my but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ. To those whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And before the final blessing, once again, um, as we do each and every week, we'd like to thank you for your continued support to help us to bring the TV masses to the homebound and to all who are homebound or in hospitalized or unable to be in your communities. We're praying for the restoration of your health and that you return to those communities soon. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Christian people exalt, O Lord, at the glorification of the illustrious members of your Son's body, and may they gain a share in the eternal lot of the saints on whose feast day, especially St. Teresa of Calcutta, they reaffirm their devotion to you, rejoicing them forever in your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Be merciful, just as your Heavenly Father is merciful. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sing of the Lord's goodness, Father of all wisdom. Come to him and bless his name. Mercy he has shown us, his love is forever.
Today, uh, I'm certainly sure you appreciate the celebration of Mass and how much it means to you and means to so many in the community to be the heart of a worshiping community, to give praise to Christ. And so I ask you, uh, in your goodness, to continue your support and generous support of our television ministry here in the Diocese of Las Vegas. And may God bless you for your generosity.